Hey guys, and welcome back to Let's Play Banjo Tooie. In the last part, we defeated the Dragon Brothers of Hellfire Peaks. I guess that's what I can call them. Chili and Billy. And I was going to head to the next level in the space state. That was a great start. But I was going to head to the next stage, and that would be over here. But first, I also forgot something that we pretty much have not messed with at... I, I guess I just never even showed it at all. But now that we are a little bit further through the game, first, let's go over here and we'll unlock the final lock of the door. I'm pretty sure this is the last one. So we can get this over with while we're over here. Let us complete the tablet one more time. Jiggy Wiggy Challenge 9. Da, 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 da. That's not... There we go. So we've done this, you've done this before, we all know what's going on here. Oh. No. What is... What? Uh, oh. There we go. It only took me a million mess-ups. Uh, this one's definitely up here. This one's here. This one's here. That was a couple really bad fails there. That's not there. No. Preciseness is not the greatest part about this. It goes very fast or it goes very slow. I want to be the person who is playing to get the footage for these puzzles because he's just like edge grabbing the entire place. And bam. There we go. You have completed Jiggy Wiggy's Challenge 9. So now the Great One will show you the way. Behold the power of the mighty Jiggy Wiggy. Huh, if that really is the last puzzle, then that will be the last time that I get to do that. Sad. Although I started this LP so long ago, <laughs> feels like it shouldn't have taken this long. It shouldn't have. I just took took breaks and internet issues and all sorts of stuff. It just ah, it marred what a great game this really is. You do not have enough jiggy. Oh, we have challenge ten. Oh, oh, seventy. My. What a high challenge you have set for us, Master. Well, we shall not disappoint you. We shall return with 70 jiggies. But I mean, that obviously looked like it was the final area. What could be left? I guess we're gonna have to find out. But if we come over here, there's a little back hollow over here. And it lets out. No, this is the mole place. This is not what I wanted. Not what I wanted at all. Wait a minute, this isn't the mole. What? I am confused now. This, it's not the place I want to go, but what is it? I am i know when I find out what it is, I'm going to be like, ah, oh, I'm a retard. Alright. Oh, it's the main way to get into here. Okay. That makes a little more sense. So that's not what I was actually looking for. And what I was actually looking for is over here. This side hollow. And we have a giant egg. Surrounded by eggs. What does this sign say? Suitable eggs may be found closer to home than you think. Oh, really? Don't know what that means yet. Let's go inside and see what it means. Clonk! Hello! Clonk! Eggy the hen! Er, hi, Eggy. I assume something egg related happens in here. Clonk! Clever bear! Clonk! Find special egg! Clonk! Then Eggy etch! Hmm. We find special eggs and then she hatches them, huh? No! 
What could that mean? Well, he said closer to home than you think. Is that just a hole in the roof, or am I supposed to blow that out? Alright. So basically what this place was used for, and what still is used for, it's the fact that I guess I... I don't know why exactly, but, uh, let's see. Isn't there, like, a something for reinstalling extras? Oh, no, no, that's not it. Well, basically, these were the, oh, get back out of here. These were the stop, stop and swap egg thingies. You talk, you would throw her an egg, and it would unlock stuff from stop and swap. But, since we don't have an egg, we don't really have anything to do. I've already done this, and I guess if you do it once, you can't do it again. But there are some other... There's some other aspects to it. That I will... Ah, no. I will probably all get to show. It's not part of 100%. Like, it doesn't count for the 100%. Ah... So let's head back to the first stage, or not the first stage, uh, the next stage that we we're going to go to. The last stage, actually. I guess you can't call, really call it the last stage, but it's the last real level. And we are heading this way. We've already unlocked it, it's just we have never been to it. So let's head up to the next stage. And I do mean up, because we have a bubble. What does bubbles do? Into the sky we go! And now we're here. Cloud Cuckoo Land. Alright, so... This stage is all in the sky, and there's... Uh, it's a very weird stage, and one, I'll, I'll talk to this guy real quick. Fancy a little physical exercise, all? Not really. Yes, you do, Banjo. Right, I'm Mr. Fit and... R okay, I'm gonna pick a voice. So fit in fact that if you can beat me in three events, I'll give you my fitness gold medal. That's nice. It is, actually. As you can probably see, event one is the high jump. The bar set at my best height. All you need to do is jump over it to win. So this guy will have various feats for you to do, and if you do them all, he will give you a gold medal. Now, the high jump, we obviously need some spring boots, but we don't have them here just yet. Just yet, at least. And so, the stage, you basically get around by using these flowers, or using a warp thing. But the warp thing is very limited, for a main reason, as you'll see here in a second. There are only two warp things in this level, and I did say just two. And the first one was there, and the second one is in here. Now with this area is basically a main hub for all the other areas. And right there you can see the move. That is actually the only, oh shoot, we got bad guys. That is actually the only move in this level, and it's the last move in the game. So I'm gonna, oh crap. I was trying to get this first, but I'm gonna go and get that, and then we're just gonna do a few other things in this level, and then we're heading off. I don't think we needed. Yeah, I don't. I didn't need to pick these up. All right. Uh, out. Banjo only. Uh, we need Kazooie to hatch that, of course. And yeah. It's how got dynamite goes. All right, into the bag, and inside we go, and we get the last move. Let's see what this sign says first. What do you say, sign? Plant a seed, watch it grow. Up the beanstalk, you will go. That was not his voice, but whatever. What's good? When faced by danger, jump on top. Now in backpack, you can hop. Hold button Alt or RT, then press right stick up safely inside where you'll be. That'll be all. Yes, missed. So it was 
this. Yay! So what does this do? Can't do the sack thingy here. But what it does do is it basically is the same thing as the waiting boots when you have Kazooie. So you're able to you're able to go inside liquids or bounce on top of liquids actually on for safety. And I'm going to we don't have to use it right here, right here, but I'm gonna go ahead and show you a little bit of what I mean. Ah, uh, nope. Let's get that camera back in. Alright, uh, that's not the right one. Thank God we have invisi invincibility when we do that. Uh, get out of that. This is what I want to do. So if you do this and then go boing, boing, boing. You can bounce on water. So we could also do that for, like liquid that would hurt us. I think lava also works, but I'm not positive. So let's combine real quick. Oh, wait, 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 wait. While I'm here, I might as well do this. Hatch. No, I said hatch. Hatch. Get up on the egg. There we go. Couldn't get on top of that freaking weird angled egg. Wow, that's a rare float to slot creature, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, so basically, you can use that to fly with Banjo. And you put him in your backpack and you fly for a limited time. Kind of like the balloon in uh, Mario. Alright. So there's lots of stuff that we can do in this central cavern that we will do once we... Oh, no, 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 no. Once we finish what we're actually doing, what I have planned. Get away from me. Everything wants to kill me right now because I'm only by myself. Yeah. All right, together we are. I don't think we can... Oh, duh. Well, that was a brilliant jump. Let's grab these. Springy. Get away from me. World entry and exit. Oh, don't touch that bubble. And... Ta-da! Oh, how did you... How did you do that? Uh, never mind. We'll move on to event two. Come and find me. Alright, so that event is... You obviously see what's going to happen in that event. We're not going to go quite there yet, though. Because now I want to work on... It. I know how to do this. Alright. Let's head over to that way. Yes. So there's something over here that we want. Other than just... I believe there are notes in this water somewhere. Maybe it's a different water I'm thinking of. Ah, there was one thing. Alright, so we head out here. And down here we have a Kazooie Rock. We haven't seen one of these in a while. So let's bust it. And bam. Draining out that water. And where shall it be going? Pterodactyland? We haven't been to Pterodactyland in a while, have we? But we drip it down into the wonderful where it is in. Yippee! My pool's full of water! Where did it all come from? I know that's not the voice I gave him, but I watched it when I was giving him that voice, and that's just the voice that I should have gave him. Mmm, tastes heavenly. Oh, well, it did come from the clouds, Dippy. It did, did it, you say? That just dropped from the sky. I lied. Just drink it and be happy. Oh, I am. Here, take my odd-shaped gold tooth in exchange. It's a very odd shape for a tooth, I'm just going to say right there. All right, so we drain that. Whoa. What? 
That was weird, my controller. Okay, it's all good. Hopefully. Hopefully this control this controller is relatively new. I hope it's not going out. It's my favorite control well, my favorite Xbox controller. Cause it is black. I had a white controller, of course. And then I bought a black one. And then my friend borrowed it and broke the trigger buttons. And then he had to buy me a new one. It took him forever to buy it. And then this became my favorite controller. Even after all the problems that it gave me. Well, all the problems that I went through to get it, I suppose. Alright, so we did that. And there was one other thing I want to do in this world. And I think it requires... It requires a different... Is it this exit? This isn't the... Yeah, this is... Alright. I was making sure this isn't the main exit. Or the first exit that we came in. Entrance. Exit. Uh, not this one. Not this one. Alright. Uh, let's see. Maybe the one up on this right up here? It... Like I said, this level has a weird layout because of its central area and then everything on the edges of it. I guess it's not that different than, uh... Uh, the uh, why TikTok cl click clock woods because of the central area thing, not because of how it is. You know, it's obviously different. Everything else. Someone's in the air. Defend your jiggy at all costs. So we're not gonna be messing with those things right now. Okay. I always thought that this this platform that is on looks like a pair of ovaries. I'm just gonna go ahead and get that out there. Alright, so the reason I took to the air is so we can find what I am looking for easier, more easily. Because I forget where it is exactly. Hmm, it's not on, it's not down there. It must be up. It's not there. It's either got to be on that purple part, or it's got to be down there. I think it's down here. It pro it's problematic because the things don't render in until you get close. Nope, that's not it. Ugh. Where would it be then? Well, this is annoying. It's not up there. I'm just wasting red feathers now. Oh. No. It's an egg, though can't fly all the way up here and see what's shellaxing at the top. We have a golden Zubba. Well. And it's got a target on it. So let's hit it. This is like used a lot in Banjo. Oh, what? <laughs> I, I knew it didn't have anything too important, but I didn't think it would have nothing. That's weird. Alright, back down to the actual world. There's one more thing I need to do here before I leave, and oh god, that's not it. And I want to get it before I forget. Another flotsam egg. So, of course, when I was, you know, practicing this, I got it in one try, and now I can't seem to find out where I'm supposed to go, or where I want to go. This is a very confusing layout, to be sure. Oh, it, that might be where I want to go, maybe. There's a door up there that we have to use the uh, spring shoes to get up to, so hopefully that's it. So if not, yeah, whatever, I'll take take my cut my losses and ah my god so then actually is it down here in this water go ahead and 
We're spending longer in this level than I would like. I thought we were just gonna get in and get out. But nope. Typical American. I gotta go in and stay for a long time. Too long of a time. Well, at least we picked up a Globo. Picked you up, Globo. Mmm, fresh water and all this greenery. Hey, this is exactly where I needed to go. God damn it. Okay. Nope. Freak you, flower. So we have an ice cube here. Whoa! Hey, young man. I'm George Ice Cube. Stuck up here at this perilous altitude. Oh, uh, what happened, George? Uh, I was out walking on the icy side of Hellfire Peaks with my wife, Mildred, when a huge blizzard came along and blew me away. Why not stay up here? Lovely view. I'm afraid of heights. Now, I reckon I'm above the icy side, so if you could just give me a little push. Very well, sir. I shall give you a push. Whee! Oh, he has such a weird... That's not a voice I would expect it of him. No, wrong side! Tell Mildred I love her. What the fuck? What the... F Rare. What the fuck? 